a very warm welcome again i am here with a new topic and it is a oecd the organization for economic cooperation and development is an international intergovernmental economic organization that works to build better policies for better lives let's see when the organization was founded initially in the year 1948 This organization was started as the Organization for European Economic Cooperation or OEEC which was formed to administer American and Canadian aid under the Marshall Plan for the reconstruction of Europe after World War II In September 1961 the OEEC was reformed into the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development or OECD and also the membership was extended to non-European countries let's see where the headquarter of the organization is the headquarter of the OECD is situated in Paris France let's see the members of the organization Currently 37 countries are members of this organization the member countries are here is the list of 37 member countries now let's discuss the objectives of the OECD the main goal of the organization is to shape policies that foster prosperity equality opportunity and well-being for all the oecd works with government policy makers and citizens to establish evidence based international standards and finding solutions to a range of social economic and environmental challenges from improving economic performance and creating jobs to fostering strong education and fighting international tax evasion it provides a unique forum and knowledge hub for data analysis exchange of experiences best practice sharing and advice on public policies and international standard settings now let's see the structure of the organization the structure of the oecd is divided into three parts the oecd council the oecd committees and the third one the oecd secretariat the first the oecd council is the organization's decision making body it is composed of ambassadors from member countries and the european commission and it is chaired by the secretary general of the oecd it meets regularly to discuss key work of the organization share concerns and take decisions by consensus the heads of government of member countries also meet once a year to monitor and discuss the global economic and trade context now let's discuss the second part of the structure the oecd committees the oecd works through more than 300 committees expert and working groups which covers almost all areas of policy making they cover the issues such as education finance trade environment and development with country level experts now the third part of the organization structure is the oecd secretariat it is led by the secretary general and composed of directorates and divisions that work with policy makers and shapers in each country providing insight and expertise now let's see the specialized bodies of the oecd the oecd has some specialized bodies as given oecd development center FATF Financial Action Task Force IEA International Energy Agency ITF International Transport Forum NEA Nuclear Energy Agency and the last one SWAC Sahel and West Africa Club that's it for now and if you want to learn other topics such as quantitative aptitude data interpretation reasoning mathematics etc you can visit at www.narviacademy.in